Hey guys, today's video is something which is not completely related to my PhD, but something that has helped me a lot throughout my PhD journey. And I know many of you must be wondering where was I in the last couple of months. Um, I was busy writing my manuscripts because I would like to complete my PhD soon. And it's been a really busy, uh, last couple of months were actually quite busy. So yet I have something to share with you today in this video. So stick around if you want to know more. What is this video about? I will be sharing some of the book collection that I have here in Zurich. And I learned a lot from these books. And I believe that others who would read these books uh, might benefit a lot from them as well. Because this helped me a lot to understand myself and um, I find it very interesting and very fascinating to know more about the human nature. So many of these books are not directly related to neuroscience. Some of them are from uh, core biology, so like molecular biology or more have a genetic basis. Some of them have uh, strong, um, strong principles derived from psychology and some of them are indeed like a bit spiritual and religious books but um, I think uh, the the beauty of reading a book is that whoever reads it perceives it differently depending on what their uh, view of the world is and in today's video I will share some of the books with you so let's get started the first one is emotional intelligence this is by Daniel Goleman and this is a very old book. I've been carrying this around since 2018. I bought this in Bangalore and I learned a lot about um, just basic way how to do anger management and um, what happens when somebody is angry. And this book has a lot more to offer. The author has other books as well, like Social Intelligence than Focus. So I would really, really recommend this book. I actually came across this book um, when I was reading books uh, from Richard Davidson and uh, Daniel Goleman and Richard Davidson are really close friends. So I ended up reading this book back in 20, I guess 17 and then 18 as well, 2018. But then I still carry this with me here to Zurich from India because I just love the content of this book and um, and and it's always that you know this book has so much to offer it has things about empathy um, it talks about various different things so I would really really recommend this one there's another one that I'm reading right now I've been wanting to like buy this one but I bought it only recently it's the daily stoic it's by Ryan Holiday and it's actually really good. In fact, um, he is someone who has simplified the principles of stoicism in such a simple way in this book. And I don't know about you, but um, look at my books. That's how I kind of like write on them. I know people have different opinions on how a book should be treated. But for me, it's that uh, my notes in a book are very important and I actually go back and forth uh, to these notes um, that I made in my make in my books. Okay, this one is my personal favorite and I again um, read it a long ago, I guess back in 2018, but I still carry this. This time when I went to India, I took it back from home and brought it uh, here to Zurich. It's As a Man Think It and it's by the famous uh, famous writer James Allen. And then... Um, this one, it's quite special because um, this was gifted to me by a really close friend in, on my uh, birthday this year. And it's um, interesting because like I knew about this concept, but I didn't know what name to put to it. And I really love the chapter on it where uh, the author talks about the awe that we derive from nature. So in short, awe means uh, to feel the wow. And this could be from a person, from nature, and from various other things. So I think he um, really talks about these, um, the ways of feeling wow from which specific places. And he has, uh, not places, like um, specific, 
yes places in terms of nature but also people and things so it's it's pretty good so this one oh it's by Dakar Keltner so the next book is breath <clears throat> so there's a funny story um with this book is that I how I purchased this one is I was at the London Heathrow Airport and my flight was delayed and I just didn't know what to do so I went to the bookstore and saw this one and bought it and on the way back when I read this one it felt like I needed this book because um, we know from our Indian culture that we should practice uh, pranayama and we should do anulom vilom but I generally don't do it that often and in this book the author talks a lot about why mouth breathing is not good for us and what happens when we do mouth breathing and um, he has spoken really well about this so I would really read it again and then um, this one I was told about this book from my dad he was reading this in Hindi and uh, then yeah I actually like this one too there's not much that I want to say about this one but I guess people should go through this one at least once and then um, this one I actually bought it I think um, in 2020 so I have a habit um, which is kind of like it can sound strange to people so I gift myself books so I'm a huge book lover and um, whenever I find a nice book I think of ways uh, as to when I should be gifting myself that book so I have like a list of a number of books that I want to read and the books that I have read and uh, this one was actually given to myself um, given to me by myself um, in the on the 18th of May in 2020 I remember I gifted myself this book is because when I just started my PhD and few months post my PhD when the ethics proposal got accepted to conduct our clinical trials I was so happy and I went to a bookstore and bought myself this one and then uh, there's a really really cool book by Dr. Siddharth Mukherjee and maybe many of you if you're into biology you might have read this one um, it's amazing like the way it starts and the amazing facts that it has and the the way he explains different concepts is so good especially so this this book is a recommendation for people who are into molecular biology into genetics and into biotechnology guys you can't miss on this one so go for this book and in the end I want to share something um, final book which has been my personal favorite and um, this one is in a small form because it has all the shlokas so this is the mini the Bhagavad Gita and this was given to me from my um, from my grandfather um, and this is my personal favorite so if you haven't if you haven't read or heard the Bhagavad Gita guys it's time so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in other videos but for now that's all I guess I have given you a lot of content that you might want to explore but the choice is yours all in all I think it's nice to um, read books is because you can be transported into another world when you read a book and um, it's a really cool way to communicate with people um, as in the fact that when you read a book you're actually uh, kind of communicating with the author um, in a way that you expose yourself to a very different personality so let's say if I were to read astronomy books I would expand my knowledge my perception um, from that subject field however if I read only neuroscience books I'm only confined to that space right I only think in that manner so it's said by 
someone, a very famous personality, that it's nice to expose yourself to very different ideas and not just the ideas that you support, because that's quite egoistic, but um, why not read a variety of literature so that you can learn more about different topics and then uh, just expand uh, your knowledge and your perception of the world and yourself. That's all for this video. See you in another video. Let me know if you have any other book recommendations. Would love to hear from you in the comments section. Bye.